Well, there's a lot of hype around gut health, and there's a reason why. March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month. Dr. Rachel Haley from HCA Midwest Health joins us to talk about the importance of gut health and the importance of, you know, that passageway from our brains to our mouth that help us talk, too. So thank you for being here. Let's talk about gut health, shall we? <laughs> Absolutely. I think you're just excited about your last guest. I, I think feathers. that's what it was. Yeah, it was, I'm still, I'm still, <laughs> those splits are still carrying me here through. But uh, we, we've hear, we hear a lot about gut health yeah. uh, these days. Let's talk about what is gut gut health when we just mention it in a, in a phrase like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Well, I'm excited to talk about gut okay. health because so many years people have not wanted to discuss, you know, their number two function. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and nowadays when we say gut health, I think people are a lot more comfortable talking about these issues. And mm -hmm. that's important because our gut health is so important. Yeah. You know, experts are realizing that our digestive system is linked to many disease processes including issues with immunity, autoimmune disorders, digestive issues like irritable bowel and heartburn, sleep disturbances, even depression, anxiety, mm -hmm. and you know unexplained uh, fatigue. A healthy gut means that you have a good balance of bacteria or microbes and these microbes are what um, obtain energy from the foods we eat, get rid of toxins in our body, and also fight harmful viruses and bacteria. So if we don't have enough good bacteria in our body, then the bad bacteria can multiply and thrive. So that's why it's important for like probiotics and stuff like that, especially during times when we have to be on antibiotics because we're having a cold or a virus, right? Absolutely, and we'll talk about those when we talk about our tips. Yeah, some tips here in just a second. What are some other reasons we need to pay closer attention to our gut health? One of the most obvious reasons is that colon cancer is mm -hmm. on the rise and you know, we need to start screening earlier and one of the most important things to remember is that colon cancer is the only cancer that we can prevent yeah. but we have to look for it so getting you know these screening colonoscopies earlier and removing those uh, precancerous lesions is really important and I know for guys it used to be like 50 for a colonoscopy but go over some of the current mm -hmm. guidelines so people know what those are because I think are that have they been updated recently or is it younger we should yeah. be going through those screenings yeah you're right the guidelines have have changed, um, what we're finding is that colon cancer is happening at younger and younger yeah. ages, so we need to start that screening process earlier. So the new guidelines recommend lowering the age to 45 mm -hmm. or earlier, obviously, if there's an earlier family history. Um, and Contrary to what people believe, colonoscopies aren't that bad. No. The prep may be the worst the part. The prep is the worst part, and I'll, I'll attest you, to that. You know that. There are some tips we talked to. we got to get through them. We only have yes, a little bit of time absolutely. to get through them. But I know you have about five tips to improve gut health. We have yes. about a minute to do it. Okay. I'm going to let you run with this one. All right. Well, um, avoid antibiotics, like you said. Yeah. Unnecessary antibiotics can reduce your good bacteria. Eat a healthy diet, yes. fruits and veggies, avoid processed foods, get exercise, physical activity, uh, make your gut move, mm -hmm. um, chew your food slowly, eat smaller, more frequent meals, and take or eat probiotics, which can increase your good bacteria. Uh, but not everybody should take probiotics, so make sure you talk to your doctor first. Okay. Now, probiotics, is that eating yogurt or is that taking an actual pill form probiotic? Do each have its benefits depending on your situation? Sure. You can find it in yogurt and fermented um, foods foods like kefir mm -hmm. and sauerkraut, if you like that. I do. Uh, but you can also <laughs> take a supplement. But again, check with your doctor first. All right, great tips. Thank you very much again, Dr. Rachel Haley. For more information, head to hcamidwest.com. We'll be back right after this.